What's up, everybody? Ben Razzi here for Odd Shopper, bringing you all things college basketball. Thursday, December 15th. Got a few games on the card. Nothing crazy, but if there's games, if there's content, Odd Shopper's where you want to be. Free content breaking down all these sports from college basketball, NFL, NBA, NHL. You like what you see. You enjoy this type of content. Give us a like. Support us. Join the community. Press subscribe. Join the 50,000 of your friends, or soon to be 50,000 of your friends, that are here living and dying, cashing these tickets with us, and hopefully having some fun along the way. Let's get into it again. It's a very, very ugly board. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Let, let's do the old scroll. Look at this. There is a noon game if you want to get egregious. Uh, we only got about 10 games to choose from, but a couple that do pique my interest starting with teams that you may not see a lot, but you could see in the tournament. Chattanooga and Middle Tennessee State. Uh, a battle in, I don't know what the nickname of Tennessee State is, but two teams right there this is in mtsu chattanooga good team they're seven and three they've won five straight beat up on a lot of bad competition they did beat murray state wisconsin milwaukee gardner webb something called johnson university so again level of competition is a little all over the map what i know about them they're a high variance team chattanooga makes a lot of threes and they take a lot of threes 11 three-pointers made per game almost tops in the country they're taking 30 per game top 10 in the country uh, they're a good shooting team. They're an average to maybe slightly below average rebounding team. Not great inside. They do have some turnover issues. Uh, that is really what could come into play here. If Chattanooga goes crazy and they're shooting 50% from three, we have no chance here. If they go ice cold, it would be inconceivable that we would lose. You're going to have to live with those kind of on the outer edges uh, with a team like this because they play a high variance style. Middle Tennessee State, not like that at all. They don't shoot a lot of threes. They're definitely more aggressive inside. They're getting to the line 20-plus times per game. That's a fantastic number. Defensively, how do they do it? They're really aggressive. They're forcing 17 turnovers a game. 22% of opponents' possessions are ending in turnover. That's 13th in the country. Fantastic numbers from them there. They're also a 7-3 and three team. They've won 5 of 6. Looking good. They just came off an overtime win at Belmont on the road. That's an incredibly impressive win. They've they had a couple games on neutral floors, Hofstra, Stephen F. Austin, things like that. They've only played three home games. They've won all of them by 20-plus points. They were some of the easiest teams, non-D1. So I don't really mean much when I say that, but it's just nice to see them back at home where they're obviously more comfortable like all teams. All of this is saying to me, MTSU coming off a Belmont win on the road with what they can do inside, with the havoc they can cause with the turnovers, I like them to cause a lot of problems for Chattanooga here. This line is going up. It was five and a half at early in the morning. It's up to six. I still like it at six. I'm going to jump on it right now uh, in this spot. Chattanooga makes their threes. They can stay in it. But if MTSU does what they've been able to do and limit these teams, and they just played Belmont, who shoots a lot of threes, uh, I like Middle Tennessee not to roll, but to cover this number, cover this six. So that's the first play on the board. Got one more for you. But in the middle, I like to show you how to make money on the money. We've talked about this a lot. You see a lot of us here at Outchopper use DraftKings Sportsbook. If you are following along and you say, I don't have an account there just yet, this would be the time. Link in the description. What you're going to do, you go down there, you click it. At least click it and, and take a look at what they're offering. You put in your information. You take your $5. You sign up as a new user. Five bucks at any pregame money line and win 150 if it wins. So what, let's, let's walk through this. Pretty simple. You put in your five bucks. You put in your information. You're going to scroll and you're going to find Colorado at minus 4,000. I've done this before, but I just want to show you to win $150 on this bet, you would have to bet $6,000 normally. $6,000. If you have that lying around and you like to live dangerously, go ahead. But for the rest of us, I'd rather just bet $5. And instead of winning 12 cents, which is what you would normally win, you'll win $150 if Colorado just wins tonight as 21-point favorites as a new user over on DraftKings. It is that simple. It is that easy. I know a ton of you have done it. But for new people, people who may have just found the channel, I want to make sure you're aware of that offer with DraftKings. One on the board in Middle Tennessee State. Going down, maybe the best game of the night is UC Irvine and Santa Clara. Really competitive game. You see a one-point spread here. I like the over. I like over 142 in this spot. Looked at this game and... Honestly, it, it should be very competitive, and that's what I found interesting because UC Irvine is a very good offense. So if this is as close as the books are saying, 
Santa Clara has to be able to keep up offensively, and I think they'll be able to do that. So let's talk about the Anteaters. They're a good team, 7-3, and three, just beat South Dakota. Dropped a couple to Fresno State and San Diego State. They're averaging 80 points per game, 41% from three, around 47% from two. That's okay, but they're a good shooting team. They don't mind playing pretty fast. Defensively, they're also pretty solid, actually. Uh, but I look, possessions per game. UC Irvine, 124th in the country. It's like upper third, you know, not bad. Certainly not a slow team by any stretch. So they'll get up. They've shown they're efficient, 80 points per game. You know, some of that's in beatdowns, but still, they're able to score. I think they will push Santa Clara's defense. I think they will score just fine on the road here and set the stage for Santa Clara, who is not a good shooting team at all, but they make up for it with volume and they make up for it in tempo a little bit. They're pretty fast. 73rd in possessions per game. They don't mind getting up and down. They're a 9-3 and three team. They've won 6 of 7. They're at home here. 33% from 3, 41% from 2. I'm not trying to spin everything as a positive, but I'll say this. They're still scoring north of 70 points per game. They're averaging 72 points per game despite that poor shooting, and it's because of the tempo. If they get positive regression in some of these departments and they're at home here, you're going to see their offensive outputs jump quickly with the tempo that they play at. And I think UC Irvine, although they have a very solid defense, I will give them respect. This is a one-point spread. The books are saying that Santa Clara can hang here, and I absolutely believe that they can. I don't think this spread is wrong. If it was, I would just bet UC Irvine. Not doing that, I look at both of these teams. I think offensively, they have advantages. I think, of course, the most important thing, I think the tempo will be there for both of them. Enough possessions, you shoot a reasonable clip, easily could get fouls late in this game. That's a free 15 points just for sitting here. Over 142, I'll call for this game to be played in the 70s on us to cash this over. Middle Tennessee State, minus 6, minus 110. Over 142 in the UC Irvine-Santa Clara game. Tonight, more plays, more action, live betting, fun sweats, communities, parlays. All that, all that interests you? Premium Discord. That's what that's about. Link in the description. Go down there and join our Discord. Hop on in. It's free for the week. It's free. Just come in. See what it's about. I know you've heard me mention it. I know you've heard others mention it. If you're wondering what exactly goes on in there, I'm wondering that myself. It's a wild time. That's where I was yesterday, sweating the games out in Discord, dropping my full card there as well. It's a really, really good community, and we'd love for you guys to join and be part of that as well. So for me, for Middle Tennessee State, for the over in the Santa Clara game, have a great Thursday. No matter what you're betting, enjoy yourself. Good luck. Cash those tickets. And of course, I'll be back tomorrow with a much bigger card on a great Friday slate of college basketball. Talk to you then and good luck.